Hey everybody, Dear Really here. Thank you so much for coming back for another episode of Birshana. We had to stop in the middle of this conversation with Ben K before, but let's pick it right back up. He doesn't want us to take his staff, even though he says he wants it sent back to the mountain. But, I don't know, it's very sentimental for him, apparently, but he's confused about what he wants to do. So you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. What? No. Why would you do something like that for me? Because I know exactly how you feel. To be raised in the mountains, to be indebted to your temple, to cherish the people that took you in, and to be forced to leave them all behind. Lord Shano. Besides, it'll be better for us all if you leave with no regrets. If there's a way we can do that, we should. A clean break. That's the best for everyone. Do you have any regrets, my lord? <sighs> Here I am telling Benke to live without regrets, and yet I'm still riddled with them. With my mother, with Kurama. Maybe I'm the one who needs to find closure. Well, that doesn't necessarily entail staying here, unfortunately. I'm sorry, my lord. Why are you apologizing? My question clearly caused you a lot of pain. <laughs> oh. Don't look so troubled, Benke. I'm fine. Yes, but perhaps... Is there anything I could do to help? You can come with me to Mount Hiei tomorrow to return your staff. Can he switch it for another one? He needs to fight. Look, he doesn't even really want to return it. Look at that. Ugh. Seeing as you poured your heart out to me, we can't just leave now. Our preparations to flee include tying up loose ends. Was that all talk, Benke? Yes, my lord. Did you really think I was the type of lord that wouldn't listen to you? Oh, no. I only meant... I'm in awe that you would take the time to do this for me. Such kindness, such grace, such generosity, such... Beauty? It's really not that big a deal. We'll leave early in the morning. Until then, get some rest, Benke. Thank you very much, my lord. Sleep well. Hmm, good night. Benke bowed low as I walked back to my room. Once again, the door was closed. I could no longer see him, but I knew that he was still out there. He's going to stay out there all night, isn't he? <laughs> you already know him. I felt differently about him now that we had talked together. I smiled gently to myself and closed my eyes. Well, hopefully he really is hearty and isn't going to be exhausted all day. He is on Temple. I wonder if Shungen's still upset. Well, let's look at him. It's hard to say. He certainly seemed as though he wanted to join us. Why couldn't he? We're only going to Hiei's on Temple. We don't need three people. Besides, this is personal. We don't want a crowd there, right? It's only three people! I know they say two's company and three's a crowd, but still. That said, I'll be there too, so maybe that's not the strongest argument. <laughs> well, I can wait outside. Not at all, my lord. There's nothing to be ashamed of in the eyes of my master. I prepared to bear all. Uh, not literally. Well, actually, yeah, go ahead, literally. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> You've already seen part of me, so... Mm -hmm. Turnabout's fair play. I, uh... I see. I really appreciate this. I wouldn't have gone on my own if you hadn't told me to. Well, I just hope you can deliver it back to Sojo safely. Me too. Oh, look, there it is. I guess it wasn't very far. The mountain path we had been walking on opened up, and the monks on guard immediately turned their gaze towards us. What in the hell are you doing here, Benke? How dare you show your face here? Uh. You have no connection here. You're just some wandering monk to us. There's no way you're getting in here. I guess they really won't let him in after all. Can they call the other guy out? As you say, I am no longer associated with the Hiezan Temple. But I have come here to return the staff that was given to me by the Sojo. Please allow me to return it to him directly. 
You think we're just going to let you pass with impunity? No way. Don't even think about walking through this gate. Because of you, this temple has come to the attention of the Heike. You've caused more than enough trouble already. Oh, come on. You guys are monks. Be more compassionate. Now go home before we make you leave by force. Wait! Just who the hell are you? Please, allow him to go through. He knows this is the last time. I am Lord Shana O. Oh, the one who will bring back Genji. And I am his master. <sighs> Oi, kid. The grown-ups are talking. Seriously, what kind of kid would stick his neck out for a disgraced wandering monk? I, I'm not just some kid. I'm... My lord, please say no more. Please, you must keep your name to yourself. What? You can't trust these people? Huh? No, you're... Oh, that's right, because these people kicked him out because of the whole Heike thing. So they're on Heike's side. No, you're right. Thank you, Benkei. I just... I wasn't thinking. It was kind of you to try to help. However, it seems that I will not be able to meet the Sojo after all. All I can do is bear the blame for my past wrongdoing. Benkei put his staff on the ground and bowed deeply. I humbly return this staff to Heizan Temple. Please return it to the Sojo. Thank you, my lord, for coming so far. Let's go back. Benkei. Benkei turned on his heels and started to walk away. From behind, his large shoulders looked sullen and dejected. Huh. Looks like that big oaf has finally given up. Not that I feel bad for him. It's his fault that Heike are so upset with us. <laughs> Indeed. He said this was the last time we'd see him, and boy do I hope so. We might finally be off the hook. He's a fool in the truest sense of the word. Nothing but problems, that one. <sighs> Oh, I'm so mean. Couldn't they have at least waited till he was further away to say that? Before I could even think, I found my body moving toward the blabbering monks. Black? You still here, kid? What do you want? There's something I forgot to tell you. Oh, yeah? What's that? My lord, what do you... I forgot to thank you. Uh, thank us for what? It is thanks to you, Benkei's teachers and friends, that he became the honest and kind person he is today. It is thanks to your efforts to instill in him the laws of Buddha that he is the kind and wonderful man he is. And it is because of you that I have such a good vassal. I am truly grateful to you. My lord. Aww. Your vassal? Kid, just what the hell are you talking about? Oh, and I forgot to mention this, too. I'm not a little boy. I am Lord Shana'o of Kurama, Benkei's lord. Well, since I'm leaving anyway, I might as well make a little splash. <gasps> what the hell? Lord Shana'o of Kurama? You mean Genji's... Yes, and that is precisely why Benkei has decided to follow me. Benkei's pledged himself for the Genji? Each day I am helped by his strength and his pure heart. I suppose that is something that was cultivated here in Hiezan. So, as his lord, let me thank you for the way you have taken care of Benkei thus far. I bowed my head deeply to the monks. Uh... My lord... No need to thank me. Let's go, Benkei. Wait, my lord! Benkei? If I may, my lord, I for a moment was struck by what you just said. I wonder if it might be possible to return the Sojo's staff at a later date. Why is that? What? What do you mean? I, as Lord Chano's vassal, I prepared to lend him all of my strength. I have come here to do that, to fight free of regrets. And yet, I'm not sure I can lend you all my strength without my staff. Yeah, see, I was wondering if he had, like, another staff, or... <laughs> it looks like something that would take a while to make, definitely. If my commitment to you is to be total and complete, I must fight free of regrets and free of any hindrance.
Just then, Benke turned back to the monks. He took his staff from the dirt below and bowed again. I apologize for my selfishness. I hope you will allow me to pick up my staff once again and to serve this one. Once my duty to him is fulfilled, I'll bring the staff to its proper place, here at Hiezan. After that, I'll never return. <laughs> so one more time, and then I swear, I swear I won't come back after that. Hmm. Uh. Thank you. It's all right, my lord. Let's go home. Benkei's face beamed like a cloudless sky. All right, then let's go. <laughs> Aw. More team building. The monks didn't come after us. They seemed to accept Benkei's offer. It didn't mean the monks forgave him, but I like to think they gained a new understanding of him in that moment. My lord. What is it? I stopped walking at the sound of Benkei's voice. Benkei dropped down to his knees and bowed deeply before me. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Whoa! What's with you all of a sudden? To do such a thing for my sake, you even bowed to them. Oh, that... right. I... I'm sorry for jumping in like that. I just couldn't keep quiet, you know? I know I have to restrain myself, but still, I nearly punched those guys. <laughs> I know, that's what I thought she was going to do. Just walk up and maybe even slice off their heads or something. What? Punch them? <laughs> that's... <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, my reaction. What? I'm sorry. I'm just happy to know you were thinking of me. Also, I think that was the first time you called me your vassal. Oh no, we've acknowledged him. Oh, that... That was just me getting riled up in the heat of the moment. <laughs> you called me strong and pure of heart. Like I said, heat of the moment. I was just pissed off at those guys. J just forget about it, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm the one getting all flustered. Never. I'll never forget about it as long as I live. <laughs> Ugh. There's no greater joy for a vassal than to be praised by his lord. <laughs> Benke said those words with such sincere joy... I couldn't find it in myself to argue with him any longer. Well, in that case... I vow once again to serve and protect you, my lord. My life is yours, and will accompany you wherever you go. Please use my life and this staff, however you see fit. As your first and only vassal, I promise all this and more. What's the more? All right. Thanks, Benke. Kurama Dera Passing clouds in the sky above were illuminated in pale blue by the incandescent moon, and Karama was silent. Why are we still here? I mean, it couldn't have taken us all day to go to Mount Hiei and come back. And we were supposed to be gone today. We were supposed to, like, pack last night or something, weren't we? I guess it's finally time to leave here. I thought it would feel more real after I packed. Then, perhaps after I stepped outside. But... The reality still hasn't hit me yet. I'll probably never be able to return here. And yet... What is it, Shauna? If I take another step, it'll be the furthest I've ever been from the Shire. Is there something you've forgotten, my lord? No, it's nothing. I'm fine. Then you can relax your shoulders a little bit. Don't worry, we'll be leaving soon. You are not one to talk, Shingen. Your expression is harsher than normal, too. We're all nervous. <laughs> I guess you're right. Well, Shano, -oh, are you ready to go? No! Lord Kakunichi. Kichiji has just received urgent news from Kyoto, but he'll be here shortly. Remember, don't let your guard down on the road to Hiraizumi. That goes for you, too, Shungen. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Just totally ignoring Benke? Yes, sir. I understand. I never thought I'd see you both leave this place, especially at the same time. But perhaps it makes sense. You both came to this temple on the same day. You grew up here together. Oh, did you hope to see them married one day, too? Which will happen probably in a different route. 
Perhaps it's only natural that you both should leave on the same day as well. Lord Kakanichi. When you first passed through these gates, you were both infants, less than a year old. Look at you now. You've grown to be strong, intelligent, and wise beyond your years. I'm so proud of you both. Shano, you have proven yourself worthy to bear the name of Minamoto to lead the Genji clan. Even if I don't want to? No, I... From an early age, I was struck by your dedication to your training. I know what you mean. As the person who was on the receiving end of many of those training blows, I thought the same thing. The sight of your dedication drew me in, and I found myself more devoted to my training too. Come on, guys, you're both making me blush. Glad to see I'm not the only one who feels that way about my lord. <laughs> oh, I too will never forget the first time I met you, my lord. Come on, this is not a memorial for me. What are we doing? The way you fought out those Heike soldiers one after another, I could hardly take my eyes off you. Glad to know I can inspire all of you. You're overreacting, seriously. Just forget about it. You're not one who is easily forgotten. You leave a light in people's hearts, and I, too, will never forget you. You better not. You're practically my dad. Lord Kakunichi. Perhaps you weren't aware of it, but you were born with a gift. A special one that I've only used against Benkei so far? Whenever you are lost, you somehow always manage to find your way back to the proper path. So, know that if you ever lose your way, look deep into your heart. Trust yourself, and I know you will find your way back again. Lord Kakanichi. Will that come into play at some point later in the story? Probably. Everyone, I have terrible news. Oh, well, what's wrong, Kichiji? I've just been informed by one of the messengers in Kyoto. The Heike are on the move. I knew it! Why did you guys take so long? What? I wasn't able to find out the size of their army, but they seem to be headed toward our location in military formation. Their intent is to arrest Lord Shana'o for his stand against the AK the other day. We have to leave quickly before they cut us off. Kichiji, which road do you intend to take? I had planned to take my usual route, but we're going to have to make some changes. We'll split into two groups. A distraction group will take the main road out the town. Then, a few of my most trusted men, Lord Shano, the others, and I, will travel on the steep mountain back roads of the town. And who's gonna come with me? Got it. Right. Let's get going. Lord Kakunichi, I'll never forget my days here at Kurama. I will always remember this place fondly. Thank you for everything. Remember, your home is here in Kurama. We, the monks of Kurama Temple, are your family. Of course. How could I ever forget that? After splitting into two groups under Kichiji's direction, we moved quickly along the steep mountain path. This route will take us over the peak of the Mount Atago and the west side lake of Biwa near Katada. Lake Biwa? I've heard it's a tremendously large lake. It's so large, the other side of the lake is not visible from the shore. We'll cross the lake by boat and enter Omi. Once we make it that far, we should be out of the reach of the Heike. Hmm, how long will that take? From Kurama to Lake Bi from Kurama to Lake Biwa is approximately eight miles. But it's a mountain road, so it'll take some time. We should be able to get to the boat spot tomorrow morning. Hopefully the other guys don't have horses. Even if it is a mountain road, I think horses might still gain on us. There are a number of roads out of Kyoto, so the odds of encountering the Heike should be pretty low. Or so we hope. Then again, Tomomori might be a strategist and figure this out. They'll head for Kurama first. If they can stall them there, that should buy us more time. That's a bit reassuring, but I still can't shake off the uneasiness. Come on, let's get a move on. It's that Tomomori! Ogitoge. We've come a long way. Just where are we? This looks like it would be beautiful. I believe we just crossed Ogi Pass on the border between Yamashiro and Omi. Quite right. 
A bit further and we should be able to see Lake Biwa. That means we finally left Kyoto. I turned around but saw no scenery that was familiar to me. Without knowing it, I had left Kyoto and Kurama behind. Shana? My lord? I'm fine. Just being sentimental. I can't waver here. Benke and Shungen chose to follow me after all. I can't let them down now. At the very least, I have to keep them from worrying about me. And you can't turn back because uh, you're being chased. Lord Shano, I know you must be anxious, but trust me, I'm sure you'll come to love Hiraizumi too. Thank you. I'm sorry for all the trouble we've caused you so far. Thanks again. Of course. I promise to get you there safely. Hiraizumi is far from Kyoto, but that means it's also far out of the reach of the Heikei. Out of the reach of the Heikei? Can there really be such a place? But... What happens after we escape? What if Hiraizumi isn't out of the reach of the Heikei? Will we be forced to flee again? Or maybe fight? I'm supposed to gather my power after all. Who knows how long that could take? It might not even be as long as you think. Wherever I go, the fact remains that I will always be the youngest child of Genji. That's when I heard it. The faint rushing sound of the wind being sliced in two. Oh, that sounds like a bad sign. Oh. Uh. Lord Shano. An arrow. Who dareth shoot at me? Gah. What? Who dareth shoot at Kijiji's servants? Gah. Ah! Everyone, get down! Heike troops! Damn! How did they find us here? Said. Oh, yep, exactly! I knew it! <laughs> Shutting down all the roads to Omi is no difficult task. Not for the Heike, at least. Tomowari Taira! Oh, look. And Benke Musashibo's here, too. Looks like you've got him wrapped around your little finger, eh? He's like, is that competition? In any case, there's no escape for you now, so come quietly. I'd love to. I can't allow myself to get caught here. Shungen, you take Kichiji and the others and go on ahead. But... That ship is our only way out of here. You've got to protect Kichiji and get to the ship. Benkei and I will take care of these guys. Oi, quit messing around. You're coming with us. Ah, help! Shunken, there's no time. Obey him and go. Shunken, please. All right. I'll go on ahead. I'm counting on you, Benkei. I'll protect Lord Shano, and we'll join up with the rest of you there. You can count on him. I'm counting on you, Benkei. Kichiji, everyone else, I'll cover you. Come on, let's go. R right. Don't let him escape. Leave this one to me. Yeah. As long as Shungen is with them, Kichiji and the others will be safe. All that's left now is to... Stay out of the reach of Tomomori, which you didn't? Sending those who can't fight to the front. Not a bad strategy. And this way nobody will disturb us. Tomomori Taira. I've been looking forward to seeing you again. Are you ready? Ready for what? He smiled, and before I knew it, Tomomori's sword was right in front of me. So he wants to duel me, too. Ugh. Not yet. What do you mean by that? <laughs> He's sharp, and so light on his feet. Oh, I would love to see this in animation. And strong. Just a few strikes, and I can already tell. Huh. Not bad. This is going to be the most fun I've had in a long while. You're just toying with me? What do you think? Come here and I'll tell you. Yeah, right. I tried to laugh him off, but his serene smile and dull eyes sent a shiver running down my spine. Dull eyes. Probably that dullness that comes with the, like, being in the zone kind of thing. The, there's nothing scary about him. He's just trying to get inside your head. Still, I can't run yet. We have to stall them and let the others get ahead. Yeah. 
<laughs> Oops. There's no point in swinging at the air, you know. Then how about this? I came at him from above, but I knew he could avoid it. He quickly parried and attacked from below. It's useless, you know. Huh. Ah! In a flash, Tomomori's sword clashed hard against mine. I lost my stance and Tomomori rushed in, grabbing me by the arm. Nice attack, but simply no follow-through. Let go of me! Feel free to shake me off. If you can. Tomomori's face approached mine, and his eyes narrowed sharply. He looked like a cat who just sunk its paws into a mouse. I stared back, trying hard not to be swallowed up by him. <laughs> you're cute when you're trying to be brave. It's just so painfully obvious, that fear swimming just below the surface. Oh, how I can't wait to uncover all of your little secrets. One by one. <sighs> A feeling of despair consumed me. I shivered as his cold hands gripped tighter around my arm. Then... My lord, this way! But I can't run, he's not letting me run. He's got a firm grip on me. I heard Benkei's voice calling out to me. It brought me back to my consciousness, and I quickly grabbed his hand. But I'm still... <sighs> I'll deal with him, my lord. You get past the enemy and get to... But what about you? Don't worry about me. There are fewer of them than there were at the Gojo Bridge. Yeah, but Tomomori wasn't fighting there. No go. Quickly. Okay, but we're not leaving without you. We'll wait for you at Katata. Saying that, I left Benkei and began slashing my way through the Heike Samurai toward the boat. Get him! Prepare yourself, Shano! Get out of my way! Yeah! Gah! Yeah! You don't scare me! Oh, don't I? Let me through! These samurai were nothing like Tomomori. I could easily take out three or four of them at a time. Jeez, I'm good. Slashing my way through the Heike soldiers one by one, I headed for Katata. Tomomori is very strong, Benkei. Stay safe. I definitely have this power, whatever Tomomori has. You. You're the one who got in my way at Gojo Bridge the other night. Do yourself a favor and get out of my way. Even the Heike cannot just do as they please. If you want to pass through here, you'll have to get through me. You think you're some kind of hero. Out of my way, I'm busy. Very well. I suppose I can make some time for you as well. In that case, let's begin. There's more! Despite his gentlemanly appearance, this man is dangerous. We've got to stop him here. You know there's no stopping me, don't you? Yeah. No, oh, he's actually stronger than Benkei? Oh. Oh, that's right, because he does have whatever that power is. Did you want to fight or just dodge? Don't tell me this dog's all bark and no bite. Oh, he looks so cool. Jeez, he's fast. <sighs> he's too fast. This guy is really strong, but that's exactly why. You have to delay him as long as possible. I won't let you get to Lord Shano. Ha! <laughs> Well, that's enough for one day. Time to put this dog down. That easily? <laughs> Still standing. No wonder you've been causing so much trouble in Kyoto. Uh, <clears throat> but this is as far as you'll go. Shano is mine. I can't let you go. Man, it looked like he actually like flung him away. That was so much stronger than his other attacks. Impressive. You could hold me off even on one knee. But you still can't beat me. 
Tomomori approached with a light step, his eyes blazing red. Uh, don't hurt him! Uh, enough, enough! <coughs> this is no way to ingratiate yourself to that woman. There's no such thing as being too strong, you know. You need speed, finesse. Anyway, you weren't much fun. Uh, am I the only person that's nice to this poor guy? No. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go pick up Genji's princess. Uh, uh, wait, wait, my lord. Benkei, you have failed me. But that's okay. I can deal with it. I must have taken a detour due to the fighting. Are the Heike who were chasing us all gone? I finally reached the shores of Lake Biwa. Oh, actually, I should stop there. Why not I think about that before I started reading this chapter? <laughs> Alright. Well, not chapter, because it's not like it broke. But we're cutting it there. So I will see you all in the next episode. Hope to see you there or in some of my other videos. And if you'd like, please subscribe. I don't say that much. I find it annoying to say that a lot. <laughs> so every once in a while I'll throw that in there, I guess. But for now, do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.